Hello friends, welcome back to our series on mastering parallel programming in C Sharp. I am excited to dive into part 7.3 where we will be discussing how to safely update a shared variable in a multi-threaded environment using lock-free techniques with a spin weight and interlocked compare exchange. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Parallel programming using PFX that is parallel framework extension libraries in C Sharp. If you have watched my previous videos, you probably remember this diagram. Well, today we'll go ahead one more step further and learn how to safely update a shared variable in a multi-threaded environment using lock-free techniques. Lock-free updates with a spin weight and interlock.compare exchange. So let's first understand what is the problem state. So here the challenge is how to safely update a shared variable say X in a concurrent environment without using locks where multiple threads are accessing and modifying it simultaneously. Okay, so what is the solution for this? To address this issue, we can perform lock-free updates using two powerful mechanisms which is available in our .NET. Number one, a spin weight. A lightweight mechanism to introduce pauses that is the spinning between retries. Okay, so picture this as a brief polite pause that happens in between retries. When a thread finds that the share variable has been modified by another thread, instead of blocking or waiting for a lock to be released, it simply spins for a moment. So this lightweight pause keeps the system efficient, allowing the thread to check again if it's safe to update. Number two, interlock.compare exchange, a low level atomic operation used to perform a comparison and exchange in a thread safe manner. Okay, let's imagine we are trying to update an important update only if we are sure no one else has made the changes in the meantime. That's what interlock.compare exchange does. It's an atomic operation that compares the current value of the shared variable, let's say X, with that that the thread expects it to be. If the value hasn't changed, it safely updates that. But if another thread has already made changes, the operation fails and the thread tries again. This ensures that every update happen in a thread safe manner without the need of for the traditional lock. So by combining these two techniques, we can perform thread safe updates without locks and keep our data safe even when multiple threads are working in parallel. All right, let's understand the concept how we can achieve it with code. First of all, I have written this statement, a static int x is equal to one. So this line declares a static shared variable x which is initialized to 1 and which will be accessed and modified by multiple threads. That's what I have written this state. Then what I'm doing, I'm just creating an instance of this spin weight struct. That's what I have written where spin weight is equal to new spin weight. As we know, a spin weight is a lightweight synchronization primitive used to repeatedly spin for a short time before retrying. It's a form of busy waiting used when we expect short waiting periods. Then what I have done, I have written int snapshot 1 equal to x. So here I'm assigning this x value to the snapshot one variable. That's what I have written this statement. Int snapshot is equal to x. So this is the value that the threads assumes to be current unchanged value of the x. Then what I'm doing, I'm writing int calc is equal to a snapshot one into 10. So basically here with this statement, I'm just calculating the new value. So this is the value the thread wants to store in the x. Okay, then I'm trying to update x atomically. How we can do that? For that, I need to use this method. Interlock.compare exchange where I need to pass ref x comma calc comma snapshot one. So here, what interlock.compare exchange method does, it attempts to update the share variable x in an atomic way. So the method compares the current value of x with the snapshot 1. If x is still equal to snapshot 1, that means no other thread has changed x. Then what will happen? It will automatically update x to the value of cal, which is the new value. And in the case, if x has been changed by another thread in the meantime, the update will not happen and the current value of x will be returned to the snapshot 2. That's what this interlock.compare exchange method does. Does. Then what I'm doing, I'm just comparing between a snapshot and a snapshot 2. If both are equal, then it means I'm just going to perform this successful operation, right? So if a snapshot equal to the snapshot 2, it means the value of x has not been changed by another thread and the update was successful. In this case, the thread prints a message indicating that it successfully updated x. That's what I have written this statement. Console.write line thread, thread.current thread.manage thread ID updated x to calc and then I have written this statement as spin weight dot spin one. Why I have written this statement? If another thread changed x, what we are going to do? We are going to perform the retry operation. So this statement is needed. So basically, if the value of x changed by another thread, 
that means a snapshot is not equal to a snapshot 2 then the thread will spin once using a spin with dot spin once method so this allows the thread to retry the update after a short delay avoiding the overhead of blocking or context switching okay so with this code snippet i just wanted to show you how to safely update a shared variable x in a multi-threaded environment using log pretext so here i have used interlock dot compare exchange for ensuring that the updates happens atomically without using log and it retries the update using a spin weight if another thread modifies x before the update complete so this mechanism prevents race condition where different threads could potentially override each other's changes okay so let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action okay so here we are in visual studio here we are going to see the demo of log free updates with a spin weight and interlock dot compare exchange map to show the demo what i have done i have created one console application named log free updates demo that has program.cs in program.cs file first of all i have added necessary namespaces like using system using system dot threading then there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application at the class level, I have defined a share variable. That's what I have written. A static int x is equal to 1. So this variable will be updated by the multiple threads. Okay. In the main method, what I have done first, I am just printing this statement into console window. Demo of log free updates with a spin weight and interlock dot compare exchange. Then what I am doing, I am just printing the initial value of x. That's what I have written. Console dot write line initial value of x. And whatever the x value is there at the initial time, we are just going to print it. Okay. And then what I have done, I have created three threads. Thread 1, thread 2, thread three and each thread attempt to multiply the set variable x by 10 concurrently that's what i have called this method multiply x by and here i'm passing value as a 10 okay and then what i've done i have started all these three threads thread one dot start thread two dot start thread three dot start and finally i have used the join method for each thread so it ensures that the main thread waits for each of the three threads to finish before proceeding and finally i'm just printing the final value of the x let's review the multiply x by method so here this is the aesthetic method that accepts variable factor of the in data type okay and then here what i have done i have created a spin weight instance right that's what I have written where spin weight is equal to new spin weight and there is a while loop okay in while loop what I have done I have assigned the value of x to the snapshot one variable of the in data type right that's what I have written in snapshot one equal to x okay so this is the value the thread assumes to be the current unchanged value of the x that's what I have written this state then what I'm doing I'm going to calculate the new value I'm just multiplying a snapshot one in with factor that's what I have written a snapshot into factor and result I'm storing into the calc variable of the in data type right that's how I'm just calculating the new value then what I'm going to do I'm just going to try to update x atomically for this what I have done I have written this state interlock dot compare exchange here I'm passing a reference of the x and cal and a snapshot one variable okay so here interlock dot compare exchange method what it does it attempts to update the share variable x in an atomic way the method compares the current value of x with the snapshot one if x is still equal to the snapshot one which means no other traits has changed that then what it will do it will automatically update x to the value of calc is the new value that i have created at the line number 45 right int calc is equal to a snapshot into factor if x has been changed by another thread in the meantime the update will not happen the current value of x will be returned to the snapshot so here if x has not been changed it will use the calc value if x has been changed by another thread what it will do it will just return the initial value which is a snapshot one value okay and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to compare with a snapshot one with the snapshot 2 if both are equal it means no other thread has changed the value of x so it means update is successful and that's what i am printing this statement thread dot current thread dot minus thread updated x to the calc variable finally i'm just returning it from here but if this condition does not satisfy what it will do it will use this map pin with dot spin once so with this statement what i'm going to do i'm just going to retry the update after a short delay avoiding the overhead of blocking or context switching okay so that's how this program is structured let me go and execute this program okay so output got appeared into this console window if you see demo of log free updates with a spin weight and interlock dot compare exchange got printed so here first of all initial value of x got printed which is nothing but one over e then thread 9 updated x to 10 so basically what happened 1 into 10 it becomes 10 and that's what this 10 got updated by the thread 9 then thread 10 updated x so it took the value x as a 10 and then it multiplies by 10 then the output comes as a 100 that's what i have printed this statement thread 10 updated x to 100 
Similarly, thread 11 updated the x value that contains value as 100 and it multiplies by 10, then it becomes 1000, right? So final value of x got printed over here 1000. So you have seen by combining these two techniques, which is nothing but a spin beta and interlock dot compare exchange, we perform the thread set updates without locks and kept our data safe even when multiple threads are working in parallel. Right? That's why I got the final value of fax 1000. Okay, so that brings me to end up my session today. To sum up, today we discussed how to safely update a share variable in a multi threaded environment using lock free techniques with a spin weight and interlock dot compare exchange. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.